Yeah, poetry's come a long way since roses are red and violets are blue. Uh, yes, uh, poetry's having a bit of a renaissance, and it has a lot to do with uh, young writers, in particular young writers of color, and like our next guest, Brandon Lee. He first caught our attention as the winner of season 15 of America's Got Talent, and you know where this talented young fella is right now. He is here in studio, and he has a spoken word performance for us. So please welcome poet and author of the debut book, Unraveling, Mr. Brandon Lee, young fella. Got the book in hand. Promoting like you should. Hi. You Congrats, likewise. Ah. You know, yeah, how much, I spoke kind of a, a, a renaissance there for poetry, but you, you were on this show, America's Got Talent. You were the first spoken word performer to be on the show and you won. What does that speak to where poetry is right now, with spoken word in particular? Yeah, I mean, you know, we were like the redheaded stepchild of right? the entertainment <laughs> world for quite some time, but now, as you said, the renaissance, we, we are getting the opportunity to show that we are akin to comedy, build tension with words and get the mm -hmm. chance to, you know, make people feel however we want, whether it be sadness, joy, laughter, whatever, I get the chance to bring these words to life. Wow. But Brandon, you mentioned comedy, but your life has been in a lot of ways anything but. You've been through a lot, um, losses, gun violence, you talk about a lot of social injustices that your kids are facing in your collection of poetry. H has what you've been through helped you with your art or vice versa? Was there a catharsis of sorts? Oh, I mean, the art just starts off as catharsis. Mm -hmm. I mean, the reason why the book is entitled Unraveling is because I think many people fear the idea of what happens when you become undone. But for me, mm -hmm. my art is my process of undoing thoughts, undoing feelings and emotions, and being able to then regather them into a healthier form. Mm -hmm. um, and as an artist, what I aspire to do, even beyond my art, is to invest and in, pour into other people. From the grocery store I'm trying to open that I mentioned prior, to the work that I put up on stage, to shoot, even I have a new special coming out called Family Affair on the CW on Juneteenth. Huh? And so, and all of that features work from this book. So, well, congratulations. You got the book in hand. We want folks to know it's his poetry collection, Unraveling. It is available now, but we want to get to your spoken word performance. We will step out of the way, and the floor is yours, young fella. I appreciate y'all. So, this piece is one entitled Running Out. It's a response to my time on America's Got Talent. I feel like I'm running out of time. Ever since I won America's Got Talent, I feel like the clock has been ticking and it's as if I ain't got but so long until the rug gets pulled from up underneath me and I'm back to my former normality. Now there's nothing wrong with the past, but I've grown to know it belongs behind me instead of it becoming my destiny. And I guess that's what I'm afraid of. I'm afraid of having come so far to have only come but so far, having battled for so long for the sake of this dream. I thought winning would be liberating, but instead I feel like I'm skating on thin ice above the, above the bitter cold reality of what happens when opportunity stares you in the face and elects to pass you by, and I'm terrified. Terrified of falling, of failing. That's why I'm always afraid to journey this high, carrying all this weight. And nowadays, I can't tell if I'm bearing this burden due to my strength or numbness. But either way, I'm tired. Mind racing about everything standing in my way, ignoring the fact that I did something only 14 others in this world had done. And it's hard to find happiness when anxiety has found home in the cracks of my victories. Laid clear a path for insecurity. But if there's one thing I've learned, is that happiness is fleeting and joy is a choice. And I can't speak for tomorrow, but in this moment, I will choose mountaintop joy, even though I'm horrified of heights. God bless. Oh, <laughs> Young fellow, congrats. It is such a pleasure to have you here. Congrats on all that's come your way. And congrats on what you are doing for other artists out there in spoken word. Congrats on everything. And we look forward to seeing what's happening with that grocery store out there, possibly. Oh, man, and good luck to your Hawks, brother. All right, thank you, brother. <laughs> Hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.